I got a new headset too, so maybe I'll sound a little different. It's the same piece of junk I had before, just made more recently. I am ready to finish this freaking game. I just freshly restarted my computer, so there shouldn't be any problems with, um, you know, crashing. And we're gonna do one of these. Do I need to go over there? I don't want to go over there. In the arm and leg zone. Okay, so... Got it. I'm gonna have to do one of these. Ah, yes. This is where the big dude is. Right here. Oh, those... Oh, no. They don't stop spawning, do they? There, have that. This might be a little annoying. Yeah, they don't stop spawning. Oh, this is going to be uh, a little annoying. Well, at least he's stupid. Uh oh, move, 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 move. Alright, we're good. This ain't too bad so far. Oh, okay, we're on, uh, big mode now. Come here, asshole. I don't have a lot of health. I should have gotten that freaking, uh, purple flower before. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. That dude's sneaking up behind me. I see you there. Does he go to the bunny? No, he goes to me. Okay. Alright, well, I think I can do one of these. Watch this. That should distract them. I should be done. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. Cool, he dead. That wasn't that bad. that do? <laughs> Damn it. Alright, I know I jumped to the side of that. I'm calling bullshit on that one. Mr. McGee. Go up! I know what I need to do. Or do I need to do that? 
Fuck you, I'm just gonna do one of these. I mean, the game blocks me. He knew. He knew. He knew. This is uh, unfortunate. So I need to go all the way back down here. Okay, good. I still can. Okay, I know what I need to do. So I need to. No, I'm just gonna do it. Um, uh, there we go. I'm gonna do one of these. So. There we go. There we go. Yep, that's what you got to do right there. Oh, I'm on uh, the second, uh, the whatever this is. Let's see if I can make the enemies come out early. No. So it was the first time I played this. Remember, I said I played this without cutscenes, so I had no idea what was going on. The first time I played this. I saw that, and it finally registered. I'm like, it, it was this one right here. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Because I was, I'm an idiot when it comes to like metaphors and stuff, especially my first time around. I'm like, something's going on here, and I don't think I like it. Y'all got hearts? Yes, you do. Thank you. Fort Resistance? No, it was, no, it was this one. Th yep, that one right there. I was like, alright, something's going on here. Oh, she dead. Do I have to do anything in here? No. I'm not dealing with you. Not gonna happen. Fuck you. I need them parts, though. Yeah, it was at this point I was like, mm, maybe this game, uh, mm, you know. Mm, something's going on here, and I don't like it. He does a real good job in making you uncomfortable, I can tell you that. Oh, shit! Why did I not get the friggin' flower? Oh, no. Because there is the doll, and there's two of the... Not the super tall guys, but the, the menacing... The ones that throw the fireballs at you. Not the flaming heads, the fireballs. There's two of those, and then there's one of the... Oh, give me a second. I need to take a sip of this yak. Brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts Coffee. Because it's the only thing that's going to get me through this. Alright, let me look for hearts. I'm going to do a heart run. Oh, roses, you, you know what I mean. Okay, good. That might save me in the future. One hit run? Not going to happen while I have level 1 weapons. Maybe one of you other guys is insane enough to do that. And when I finish this and I unlock New Game Plus in this save file with level 1 weapons, what I'm going to do is post this save file that I have right here. I'm going to put it up online publicly. So that at that point, you will have the one-hit red dress with level 1 weapons to play on Nightmare. So you will essentially be able to play New Game with the one-hit dress. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not insane enough to do that. But if any of you guys want to, Feel free. Use my save file. Anyway, let's just get this shit over with. Yep. Um, I think what I need to do first is go up here and get stuck on the fucking wall. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <coughs> So this is going to be uh, interesting. That 
That is not what I meant to do. Oh, well, he can't get me. Who cares? This is going to be uh, really freaking crowded. This might take me a couple of tries. I don't think I don't think there's any easy way for me to do this. I'm trying to think of like, you know, an easier way to do this. I don't think there is. I think I just need to like do that and then, you know, do this. I'll admit I'll admit that went a little better than I thought it would. I'm going to admit I did not think I would get out of that first fight that easily. So at this point, it's just kind of shoot this dude. Oh, wait a minute. I can go where the cake is. So I don't think the, the baby downstairs can get me. He's trying his best. I think that's adorable, honestly. Fuck. Easy. Okay, now I just gotta take care of the... Where are you? Oh, you're down there. Okay, so what I think I need to, or what I think I should do is I should go over here, then target them, all right? Then I can just start doing, like, one of these. Okay, you're going to do that. This is on, right? I'm still recording. Okay, yeah. Can I reposition the camera or something? There. Oh, nice! I got her in a good spot. So, I'm damaging the... Look, look, look at how the bombs, like, defy physics. Watch this. <laughs> Alright, so this is unfortunate, so I can't defy physics as easily. Oh, there we go. You see, look, look at that curveball. Alright, so I'm gonna need to just keep doing that. Okay, I got him in a, in a place where I can just keep doing this over and over again. Let's keep doing that. I can't even see what's going on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What is going on? <laughs> Look at these physics. No, goddammit. This went a lot easier than I thought it would. Fuck you. Alright, keep, 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 keep doing it. There we go. why you just do one of these. But then you can't aim down all the way. That's the problem. <laughs> no, 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 no. Alright, whatever. You know what? We're, we're good. We're good. This ain't that big of a deal. Yep, that's what I wanted you to do. God damn it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nice. Was that actually a flawless run? Wow. Didn't didn't think I would get out of that one without taking a single hit. second let me just 
OBS can be weird sometimes. I'm just checking to make sure. Okay, it is definitely recording. Cool. Alrighty. Am I coming up on the part where it crashes all the time? Like where I know that I'm definitely going to have a crash? I think I am. Oh, let's play some Guitar Hero 3. So, this next head-rolling puzzle is definitely 100% going to crash my game. It always has, and it probably always will. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the game normally, and we'll see if it crashes. If it doesn't, it's a happy accident. If it does, then what I'm going to do is stop streaming this go over to like a full desktop view and I'm going to walk you through how to get around this crash that's about to happen. I was the one that wrote the article in the PC Gaming Wiki, but in case I like didn't do a good job explaining it or something, which is definitely possible, I'm going to take you through it step by step live right here and I'm going to show you how to actually get around this. With the whole console commands, no clip thing, I'm going to show you how to do that right here, right now. If it crashes. If not, then I'm going to play through it legit. And it would be the first time it has ever not crashed for me. So, we are going to go through it, like I said, the first time. Let's pretend we're an unsuspecting player. We don't know what's about to happen. We don't know that the game's going to crash on us. I must have played through this level like 30 times. For this exact reason. Uh, okay, game. Okay, okay, game. There we go. I gotta do one of those. So it's not this part that crashes, it's... This transition sign, the next transition going from this level to the one after this one is where the crash happens. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Fucking hell. Okay. You gotta give Spicy Horse, they really wanted to give us the most for our money. Right? I mean, they've included every single... They got Guitar Hero, they got Hamster Ball, I mean, Jesus Christ, they got everything. Oh shit, I forgot I was going to load that Spongebob music too. I forgot to do that. Just pretend like you're listening to it. Okay. This part always takes forever. Uh, damn it. Sometimes I can skip through that. Yep, that one right there, you see? Top right corner, that's where it crashes. You'll go in, it'll load, and then it'll crash when the next level's about to start. It's this one coming up right here. Right here. So, we're gonna go in, do that, and the game is going to crash now. Give it two seconds. Crashed. Okay, so, let me see if I can adjust OBS. I'm going to do, take that off and go full desktop. Okay, so, here we are. So, 
how do you fix this crash? So let's look at the PC Gaming Wiki. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set up the game to receive console commands. So manually bind console commands being sent to a key. So we're going to open Alice input in the configuration files. On, um, what do you call it? Windows, this will be different. I'm playing this on Linux, so I kind of have like an emulated Windows drive here, right? So it's your C drive, users, your username, documents, uh, I think it's my games, Madness Returns, game, config. Here we go. And then Alice input. You may have set it to read only to do something before. You're going to have to undo that. Let's do read and write. Okay, so Alice input that I and I, I'm going to open it with my uh, notepad here. Under Alice Game Alice Player Input, at the time, okay. So you're gonna search for this section within this text file. So let's do this. Find. Did it actually find it for me? No, it didn't. I guess it doesn't exist in this, but it, it definitely is here. Shit, I must have written that wrong. Well, it's a good thing that I went through and double checked it. I'm going to figure it out live on here. And then whatever it changes to. I will update the PC Gaming Wiki. Let me look on here. Maybe it's in here. So we're going to find where this is. It's not in here. Is it an engine? No, it's not. Okay, so wait a minute. Maybe it's... Um, Oh, okay, you know what? I think it's just my text editor that's being stupid. I'm going to open it. Yeah, here, okay, so this one's color-coded. It's hard to read some things. Let me, I think I already have it in here, so let's find where I actually put it. Okay, here it is. So, oh, shit. So, under engine.player input, it's in Alice input that I and I. So, what you want to do is make sure it's not read-only, right? You want to do read and write, or on Windows, you'd uncheck the, the read-only button or checkbox. So right here, okay. So it's right here under engine.player input, top of the file. I have mine just kind of in here. Where is it? No, numpad 5. So I have mine right below escape. I don't think it matters. I think you could put it anywhere in this file, but I put mine right below escape. So... Findings, name, numpad5, command equals exec commands. So what that means is when you press 5 on the number pad, which means not the row of numbers on top of the keyboard, the one that's off to the right, you press it on there with number lock on, what it's going to do is execute in the game's console the commands found in the file called commands. So... My game is already set up to execute console commands. Now we are actually going to make that file, the commands file, and set it up to allow us to bypass this. So under C, users, your username, documents, my games, under, okay, Alice Madness Returns, binary. So again, in your C, users, documents, my games, Madness Returns, binaries, what you're going to do is you're going to make a plain text file just called commands, and it's not going to have a file extension. If you do this in Notepad, which I don't have, but in Windows Notepad, when you make a file called commands, you want to make sure that it does not have the .txt extension after it. Normally, when you save a text file in Notepad, it calls it whatever .txt. When you're in that save prompt, 
at the bottom where it says, you know, what kind of file do you want to save it as, where it says plain text, change it to all files and make sure it just says commands, not commands.txt, otherwise it's not going to work. So, in this commands file, you can still open it in Notepad, by the way, the, the normal not .txt file, it's just the file name cannot have .txt in it, otherwise it'll still open a notepad just fine. So, we're going to do the command that you want to run. So it's going to be send to console and then the command afterwards. Let me close that. Send to console command here. So, we are going to replace command here with the no clip um, thing. Where is that? Crash during hairball puzzle. Okay, so no clip. So to no clip in the game is the ghost send to console ghost and then to undo the no clip is send to console walk so we're gonna, first we're going to set it up to just no clip first send to console ghost and we're going to save it or control s file save whatever you want to do so when you run the game next time keep this open this commands thing in the binaries folder keep this open because you can change this on the fly so you can like tab out of the game, change it to like blah blah blah, and then tab back into the game, press the number pad 5 in this case, and then it will execute that new command. Also what you want to do too, before I forget, is after you add the, you know, numpad 5 right here, exec commands and Alice input, you want to go back and you want to make this read only again. Because if you don't do that, the game might undo it. So add the numpad 5 thing that we did before, then make it read-only again. This you want to save the Alice input that I now you want to save before you start the game. And then this you cannot update on the fly. The commands thing you can. So let me load up the game again. Uh, where is it? Origin. Okay, it still thinks that the game is running. Come on. All right. Can I like force close or something? Okay, so this still thinks that the game is actually running. Let me pause the recording and kind of fix uh, origin here. And then I will resume it when I'm back in the game. One second. Okay, so game's open. I'm going to load it up like normal. There's my save file. Let's go in. Let's continue the game, and we're going to test it before we actually get into the puzzle level, just to see if we're, okay, so we're here, so here I am in the game, I haven't gone in yet, so now, let's pause, we're going to tab over to this, right, so in this instance, in this example, when I press 5 on the number pad, make sure numlock is on, when I press 5, I should no clip in the game. So, here we go. I'm in the game. I haven't pressed it yet, so I'm going to press it right now. And now I'm no clipping in the game. Now, to undo this, like I said, tab out of the game. You want to send to console walk. Walk is how you undo a ghost or a no clip. So now, when I go back in the game, I'm going to press 5 now. I fall back to the ground and everything's normal. Okay. So let's prepare this for doing in the puzzle. So we want to make sure, send a console ghost and save, right? Let's make sure this is actually recording. Okay, cool. I'm doing the whole desktop right now so you can see everything that I'm doing. So we're going to go ahead and go in the puzzle and we'll play it as normal until we get to the part where it's about to crash. Okay, so this is fine. And like I said before, too, I was the guy that figured out how to bypass this crash, but I was not the one that figured out how to actually send console commands to the game. That was somebody else. I do not want to take credit for that. If I can find the Steam user that put that on initially, I will. Uh, until then, we're just I'll just, you know, at least give you that disclaimer that... I figured out how to apply it here, but I was not the one that initially figured out that you could send console commands to this game. I don't want to take credit for that. That was somebody else. 
I'm doing really bad here. Okay. So now we gotta go through this one more time. Like I said before, it's just, it's amazing how you can tell the PC port of this game was rushed because they didn't even have time to, fuck, they didn't even have time to change, hold the button to fire. Usually it's hold jump, right? Hold space in this case, but it still looks like it does on, like, the console. Like the Xbox and the PlayStation where there's actually an X button. I wonder. Hold X. So... Okay, so the PC port is probably then based on the Xbox 360 port then. Because the X is blue. But then again, why would X be jump? Why wouldn't it be like A? Which would mean that on the PlayStation controller, if I recall correctly, the X button is where A is on the 360. I wonder what version of the game the PC port's based on. Usually it's like the A button that's jump. Maybe, maybe this is based on the PlayStation 1. Okay, we're almost there. Just don't fuck up. Fuck! You'd think I would know this like the back of my hand after playing this so many goddamn times just to try and figure out how to bypass this friggin' crash. Any day now. Take a sip of coffee. Mmm. My brain fuel. Okay, so... Right here. Stop right... Because we don't want to go in the cannons to accidentally get shot in the door. Okay, so... Let's tab over. Let's just make sure. Send to console ghost. So when I press number pad 5, I should no clip, which is going to change me away from the ball. Yep. So now I'm going to go up here. The tooth is trying to... Now, when you are no clip, the level exit triggers don't work, so you need to tab back out and do send to console walk. Save. Go back in the game. Do it one more time. But now, you're not a ball anymore which means you can't you can't do this next part but it doesn't crash so i mean it does crash okay interesting i've never had that happen before i've never had it crash after i've done this so what i think i need to do is i think i need to do a ghost again very quickly to bypass that trigger. So let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, we're back on. We should be. Yep. So I've never had the game crash after I did that. It could just be because I'm, you know, playing this on Linux. I'm emulating Windows. I'm doing like a Lutris wine type thing. It could just be that. But let's see if we can figure it out. So, let's just make sure we are ready to go. Okay, so I have Ghost loaded up. That's what we need. We'll go through this one more time. It could be because I was holding W, right? Maybe the maybe in order to do this properly, I just have to not press anything until I go no clip. That could be it. I'm going to try that. The next time that I get to there, I'm just going to immediately Oh, what do you call it? I'm just going to immediately go no clip or ghost. And then we'll see if that works. Okay. I mean, all of this could be fixed if they just patched the friggin' game. 
This game has been out for 11 friggin' years, and it has never once been patched except to remove DRM, which is a good thing, but why can't you patch the rest of this game that actually needs patching? The stuff like this that needs fixing. Game-breaking issues where unless you literally cheat with console commands, there is no way for you to win. That is, it's ridiculous. You know what, actually, what am I doing? I'm just gonna... You, you, you know I can do this. I'm just going to go ahead and go over here. Okay, so... I'm here. We're going to do... I'm going to change it to walk. Save. Then go back in. Walk. Now I'm going to set it up to do ghost again. Ghost. Save. So now as soon as I load into the next level, I'm going to go no clip right away. No clip. Fuck! Something's, something else is going on here. I've never had it fail at that point. Hmm. That is interesting. I wonder if it is just a Linux bug. I'm going to pause this one more time. Okay, we're back on. Oh, my text file closed itself. Okay, we're set up to do Ghost. I might have to record this on my Windows computer, my Dell. Hmm. I'm going to give it one more go. I'm going to give it one more go. Because I'm telling you, when I did this before, it always worked. It must be a non-Windows thing that's just making it crash again. Must be some kind of emulation bug at this point. Every time I play this friggin' game, I have a new. Pr you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do this. Every time I play this game, I have a new problem. I swear. That's what the rest of it looks like. Just in a giant friggin' yarn ball. Okay. I'm in some kind of wall. Hang on. Uh, walk. Save. You can't double jump. Look. I'm pressing space. You can't trigger anything, too. Which, because you can't trigger anything... That's what I thought the bug was. The bug was like, the, you know the flamingo head that swings down and hits you? I thought it was like that. Like, okay, there's a problem with that trigger that's making the game crash. So we're going to ghost one more time. Oh, wait. There we go. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over here. Walk. And let's set it up for Ghost one more time. Ghost. So, I'm gonna not press... I'm gonna not press anything. I'm just gonna leave it go. Leave, I'm just gonna leave it go. Not pressing anything. Not pressing anything. Okay, so it's me pressing a key... That like a like a movement key that crashes it. Okay, I'm ready for ghost. Let's do ghost. No clip right now. I mean, look at all that stuff that I'm missing that I'll never be able to play. Okay, let's try it now. I'm gonna try to go forward. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you just couldn't press sideways. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go down here, do the same thing. Pause the game. Walk. And undo it. And walk in here. That should be it. Yep, there we go. That is how you bypass the broken level. So, okay, so the trick is, when you do the ghost and walk thing, when you load into the third level, you just, you cannot press any movement keys at all. You need to let the flamingo head swing at you. 
not press anything except the key to make ghost or no clip happen then you can do it okay I'm going to switch over to just doing this okay I'm learning OBS too this is all kind of new to me perfect So this is the game's way of taking health away from you. Fuck you, game. I've been through too much at this point. You'd be pulling cheap shots on me like that. I'm gonna go over here. When in doubt, always go left. How was I supposed to avoid that? What? I know I have... Okay, so now I have essentially no health. And I'm going to be going into this fight with... Well, what are you going to do? Can I go up here? No. The game foresaw that. Oh. That is... Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Just come on. Okay, okay, okay. That was strange. I think my best bet is going to be to take this guy out first, in the middle. And get them roses, too. Stuff's valuable. up there. No, him. Whatever. Oh, here we go. What the fuck is all that shaking? Cool. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So now I just have these guys, but I believe they can jump over here, right? Yeah. That's, uh, crusty. Wait, what if I just did one of these? Just waited for him to come over here. Forgetting that it does that. Okay, you're in fire mode. So now, I bet you that means I can focus on this one over here. No. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Fuck. 
Wait a minute. While they're stuck, maybe I can do one of these. So they can't... Okay, they only jump onto it from the sides. Not from the front or the back. Interesting. This fight's gonna take a little while, but I don't think it's impossible. Far from impossible. Luckily, I think I'm almost done this crap. No, 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 no. Okay, one of them is uh, down to that. and, you know, kind of the same place. Okay, that's good. We're making progress. Ah, oh, shit. Wrong thing. Ain't not even doing damage anymore. Okay, okay, we're making progress. You don't have a heart anymore, you should be dead. Okay. <gasps> Fuck you, game! Alright, this just got a lot harder. Oh, wait a minute, I just do that. I'm in, like, complete focus mode right here. Not, mm, yep, that was my own fault. Okay, 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 don't, don't die, don't die, don't die, just don't die, please don't die. Don't die. Just don't die. No. 
No, damn it. Just don't die. Don't die. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I have never been happier to have been done a fight than that. One more hit, I would have been done. One and a half hearts on Nightmare, you get hit once you're done. No, no, uh, what do you call it? No hysteria, no nothing. You, you just would have been done. I think I'm almost done. This part. The dollhouse part. I think I'm coming, yeah, I'm coming up on the exit. She's about to realize something. Let's watch this. I'm gonna watch this. Watch my graphics card crash on me right now. Before the game saves. That is a good point. Maybe I should skip this. Nah, fuck it. Let's do it. I had a role in my family's demise, but I did not start the fire. Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. Ooh. So the doctor's a friggin' idiot. Why wouldn't you kill the the last, like, person who witnessed it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm glad he's an idiot, because he needs to pay for what he's done. But still, like, you need to take out all of the evidence, dipshit. That's how it works. Give me any amounts of roses that you... Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm about to be on that infernal train. And at that point, I'm, I'm going to call it quits there as far as recording goes. I'm going to save that for next time. That is a wallpaper moment right there. Okay, yeah, go in. I got non-threats coming after me. Oh shit, I got the flying guys too. Fuck. Oh, where's the other dude? I hear him. Oh, he's all the way over there. Show yourself. Show yourself. Yeah, don't don't hit him. No, I I, I wouldn't want you to actually hit the thing I'm shooting at. No, no, no. It's asking too much. This memory over here is special to me. First time I played this game. Again, no cutscenes. I didn't quite know what was going on. And then this right here was the first memory that I'd unlocked in a while. That I actually, like, listened to. No! You know what it is? I forgot about this. If you disable cutscenes the, the improper way, the way I did, when you get a memory, you don't get the description. That's what it was, so... 
Like I said, if you disable it improperly, when you collect a memory, you don't get the text or the dialogue. Eventually, I was like, wait a minute, I did that improperly. I re-enabled it, and then this was the first memory that I got. After I was able to hear dialogue from stuff again. I'm no toy. He wanted me to do the things I didn't want to do. And I was like, wait a minute. What is this game about? So yeah, that's it. That memory's special to me. That was me going, oh shit, what's going on here? I played through the whole game having no cutscenes and not getting any dialogue from the memory. So I pretty much had no idea what was going on. I was, I mean, I was still playing the game. I just didn't know what was happening. Yep. Am I not Sapping duck. Wretched and selfish are fortune's fools. Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My are you oblivious? Is an abuser and purveyor. My sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I saw relief oh. from my pain and you turned me away so from the truth. So, he did corrupt her mind. Okay. Almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. But he just said he didn't forget. My family. So the game's conflicting itself. You should be too. You misbegotten abomination. Murderer. Sucking parasite, the damage you've done to children, the abuse. I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family, my mind, the infernal train. The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with a shiny car, with comfy seats. Years of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engineer. I'll stop that train. If it's the last thing I do. As you wish, it will be. Okay, so that throws a wrench in things. Because she was saying she didn't know, but he was saying she did. Kind of. Perhaps it's already there. She was saying she was oblivious, which, okay, but I still find that hard to believe, that you worked at a place for a year and you had no, you, you lived and slept there, and you had no idea? No idea. What's over here? Nothing, okay. Oh, this is where the game started. Oh, they were building the train at first. Oh. Huh. Interesting. So, I'm having conflicting feelings now. Maybe my theory was proven wrong. Because she said she didn't know. And that she, he, he did corrupt her mind, even though before she said she didn't. Now she's saying he did? And then he just said, I didn't. So I don't know who to believe anymore. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on anymore. So I'm going to get to the train, and then I'm going to stop. Oozing saw of depravity. But all that happened in her mind. So she did know. Because it's already in her mind. <laughs> Didn't know if I wanted to be a cat or not. Please give me full health. Please give me full... I don't even need an extra rose. Just give me the full health. That's all I need. I don't know if it did. Okay, well, anyway, by all means, it's a good point to stop here. Next time, I will hopefully finish this godforsaken game. Oh, wrong key.